God. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? He, he never touched me. Oh, dear, she help me. She won't listen. She's terrified of him. God alone knows what he's been doing to her up there. All right, Beth. You've had his say. Don't you talk to me. I'm going to the police. You do that, you're the one who's going to look a fool like you do now. Leave her. She's not worth it. No, I'm not leaving you with him. Get off, Mum! You're hurting me! Oh, that's what you want, isn't it? For me to walk away and let you carry on. Well, I've one daughter dead. I'm not letting you kill Marshall. The only one who's killing me is you! Now get out of here! Come on, Beth. There's no more you can do here. Come on. Come on, Come love. On. She's my little girl. I know, I know, but you've said all you can. Now, come on. He'll kill her, I know he will. Come on, love. Come Proud, on. are you? You never touch me. We all know what you are, Charlie. I can't leave her, not with him. If she doesn't want to leave... I've got this hold over her. She's terrified of him. You did your best. I had to. As soon as you told me, I had to come. It's the curse of being a mother. I'm the same with Deirdre. <sighs> come on, let's get you inside. We've got some brandy. Mother, will you get the door open? You lot have just missed a right set to in the Rovers. Uh, why, what happened? Oh, here we go. Uh, He'll be scribbling in that jotter for the next ten minutes. It's supposed to be your observations, not Blanche's. Shelley threw her mother out of the pub. Shouting and screaming they were. And that's not all. Shelley's got a shiner. Black eye. And no prizes for guessing who gave that to her. But was this a left or a right eye, Blanche? I wouldn't go home yet if I were you. Deirdre had to muscle in, didn't she? She dragged Bev into ours. She's probably picking over all the details as we speak. He's brainwashed her into thinking she needs him. That's what he... Bang on time, as promised. Good night. Fantastic. So, well, she's uh, through there. She's had her breakfast. Hi, Amy. Right, I'm going to go and get changed. Oh. Come through, Steve. Hello. Oh. All right, hi, Steve. Oh. <laughs> Full house, then, eh? Cosy, isn't it? We're expecting the cold stream guards for dinner. It'll be a squeeze, but we think we'll manage, don't we, Ken? Well, I've come to take Amy off your hands. And I'll be gone by tonight, Blanche. Come and have my seat, Steve. Deirdre and I are off out now, aren't we? Are you ready, missus? Yes, I'll see you later, look. I'll be back for my dinner and to wave Bev off. All right, love. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, 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 bye sweetie. Bye. Way up. Well, you can't have too many... Need another outfit. Well, you can't have too many nice frocks, Gran. Well, she only wears them once. And then they just clog up the dirty linen basket. I can't remember the last time I saw the bottom of that basket. Yeah, I know, and it's not as if the washing machine never gets used, is it? Of course, there is a solution. Two baskets? I was thinking more radical than that. But... kind of depends on you. Well, it's not me that fills the thing up. I often only contribute one pair of drawers a day. Yeah, OK, I admit it is mostly me and Amy. But if we were to have somewhere else, our own place, say... Well, where would she go? When you first bought number seven, it was for me and Amy, do you remember? But the Baldwins live there now. So I'll kick them out. They pay me rent. I'm not that keen on seeing the bottom of a linen basket. My mother thinks... Steve it... actually ready to move in with you. Well, you saw how he was this morning. He can't get enough of me and Amy. It's just that his flat is too small for the three of us. But why can't you get somewhere else? That's what I said. Well, because... I want to be close to my family. Your babysitter's more like. Oh, come on, it's ideal. Me, Steve and Amy, two doors down, the three of you will have this place to yourself. Liz is across the road, it's perfect. And are you expecting all this for free? No, no, we'd pay rent. She's expecting a family discount, though. Oh, is that all you care about? I depend on that money. Well, OK, if we were to pay the same amount as the Baldwins, would you kick him out then? Hang on a minute, Mother. If she's serious, it might be worth thinking about. We've family first and all that. 
OK, you win. What? You're going to bin back the Baldwins? But I'm not cutting the rent. Oh, grand, thank you. Oh, I can't wait to tell Steve. In fact, that's what I'm going to do now. Stick him up, tenderfoot! Look, stop <laughs> waving that thing around. You'll have someone's eye out. What are you doing, anyway? Oh, line dancing at the one o'clock club. Ever tried it? Oh, I reckon you'd be a natural. You could fill a pair of chaps a treat. Oh, Ooh. tea, is it? Nice to be asked, I must say. I thought you two were off. Yes, well, we better I'd be. We'll be late otherwise. <laughs> it's only... We start in 20 minutes. The club was so popular, we decided to meet early. The quarter past eleven club doesn't have the same ring, though. Why don't you start at one and then finish later? Don't be so ridiculous. T two have got the function room from quarter to three. Never mind all that, Mother. Have you spoken to the solicitor about transferring the tenancy for the house? It's all in hand. Come on, calamity, saddle up. <laughs> What's wrong? It's Mum. She's been rushed into hospital. Right in the middle of the Wichita line man it was. I mean, one minute she's dancing next to me, and the next, gone. I half expected to see an arrow sticking out of her chest. It frightened me to death. And you rubbing up Billy the Kid had nothing to do with it, I suppose. Um, Billy the Kid. Oh, Billy Woodhams. Tripped me up to get to him, she did. I did no such thing. And for your information, Billy's no kid. He'll be 83 next Whitson. So the nurse said that the fall had something to do with the pain in your hip? Oh, I suppose it'll all come out. A couple of years back, it started giving me jip. So I went to see my GP and he diagnosed osteoarthritis. Why didn't you say? I didn't want you mithering me. Mithering you? To get a stick. I can tell my own story. GP didn't think I was serious enough to go on the waiting list for a hip replacement. He reckoned that if I walked with a stick, it'd ease the pain and I'd get a few more years out of my joint. Well, I wasn't going to have any of that. Oh, mother, you and your stupid pride. You must have been in agony. Oh, nothing that a few painkillers couldn't handle. Well, up until today, any road. You don't think this is going to affect the house move, do you? Is that all you're worried about? Uh, yeah, to be honest. Hello? Here comes Ironside. <laughs> I told you you'd be in one of them things before me. Only as far as the car. I'll lay odds that I'll be pushing you before you're pushing me. Yes. What's the verdict? Nothing broken, just bruising. But what about the arthritis? The doctor said it was worse. Said I ought to see me GP about getting on the waiting list. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? It's just the same old merry-go-round as before. Me GP will not help. You could walk into that surgery with the plague and come out with paracetamol. Yeah, well, she's right. Oh. So come on, Deirdre. Wagons roll. Oh. Oh. oh, Mother, I've told you before, for the last time, I can manage. This is ridiculous. You've got to let me start looking after you. Are you a doctor? No. Then a fat lot of good you'd be. Well, at least start using the walking stick. I said no, and I mean no. First it's a stick, then it's a box. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. When I go into that hospital, it'll be under my own steam. That's the spirit. Oh, Ken, don't encourage her. No, it's very laudable the way that uh, Blanche is taking such a proactive attitude to her debility. And it could be a year before she has her operation. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm not going to be left to rot on some waiting list. Well, go private, you mean. Oh, you've been paying for it all your life through taxation and national insurance. Are you running for Parliament or summit? Ken's right. You're just going to have to be patient. Suffering silence, more's the like. Oh, aye. That's the socialist way. Oh, you couldn't afford it anyway. And I can't afford to spend the rest of my life in pain, neither. 
won't forget. I promise. Give me regards to George. Bye now. If words were water, that woman would be a fish. Well? It were a very informative conversation. Come on, Mother. How much did she have to pay? £10,000. £10,000? That's extortionate. Well, that's exactly what private health care is. Extortion of the worst kind. Two weeks instead of two years? Sounds a bargain, if you ask me. Ask you what? £10,000 for a hip replacement. What? Is it made of gold or something? Titanium, actually. Yeah, whatever. Hey, this magazine has given me some amazing ideas for the house. You couldn't seriously consider spending that sort of money. It's obscene. All the ground floor is going to be open plan. We're going to. Who says through. I'm not serious? Oh, hello. I'm trying to design my new home here. Calm down, love. You've not even moved in yet. Yeah, but I'm excited. I'd listen to her if I were you, young lady. Have I missed something? I'm selling the house. Blanche. What? Grant, you can't do that. You promised it to me. And, Mum, tell her. Mother... It's nothing to do with her, and it's nothing to do with any of you. It's my house, and it's my hip. The way I turned last night, my hip was giving me jip. I never slept a wink. That's funny. You must have started snoring while you were awake, then. You wouldn't be so sarky, madam, if you were suffering. Yeah, OK, it's just you do go on, mother. So would you. If it was my hip, yes, OK, I know. And there wouldn't be any more holier-than-thou preaching about queue-jumping by going private if you had to put up with the pain, Ken. All I was saying was... Ah, uh, wait. You turn and suffer. Well, that's what it amounted to. We're probably only talking about a few weeks, Blanche. Yeah, and you could put up with that if you weren't so selfish. You see, young lady, to you, a few weeks is only a tiny fraction of the life you've got left. To me, it's a damn big fraction. And worth spending me money, and it is my money, you know, to get some relief. What, even if it involves selling the house that you said was coming to me? You don't understand what I have to put up with. Now, if we lived in a bungalow, for instance, and many people's sons-in-law are, Ken, I wouldn't have to struggle up them stairs to get to the bathroom. We have still got the toilet in the backyard, you know. You wouldn't expect the Queen to struggle out to a toilet in her backyard. That being the case, Neither am I. Where are you going? Out. To see about selling me house. You said that house was my inheritance. You get the money instead. <laughs> Whatever's left of it. You working later? Get a rover's later and we can sort something out then, eh? Yeah. Oh, hello. Come in. It's our landlord. Oh, just getting over a little doorstep, it creases me. I had a fall, did me hip in. Yeah, we heard. Yeah, I'm sorry, Blanche, I can't stop. I've got a business to run left. Look, hang on, hang on. It's about this house. I didn't want to have to give you notice, you know. Only our Tracy mithered me soul out. But I've changed me plans. I'm putting the house on the market. So you're selling it? I have to. I need the money to get me hips into. So you're looking for a quick sale? Well, that would suit me best. I thought I'd give you first refusal. Thanks, Blanche, but no thanks. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute, love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we buy this place and buy it quick. Saves you all the estate agents' fees and a lot of aggravation, by the way. Blinding. So, how much are you going to knock off the price then, Blanche? Danny, doesn't matter how much he knocks off. We are not buying this house. Leave it, love. Don't go into one. Look, we can get a good deal out of Blanche while she's here right now. How many more times? No! Don't shout. You keep telling me we ought to be buying a house. Yeah, but not this one. Something bigger and better. I'm not settling for this place, Danny, and that is final. Sorry, Blanche, looks like I can't do business with you. You're up and down this street as if you were cock of the walk. Some cock. One peck sees you off. What's it supposed to You proposed. Well, we're heading that way anyway. It's all fitting into place nicely, thanks. He hasn't said yes yet. Yeah, but he will. So what exactly did he say? Well, he 
said he'd sleep on it. I bet the poor lad didn't get a wink. The lucky lad, you mean? The lucky lad who's landed on his feet? Fairy tale ending, eh? Who'd have thought it? Yeah, well, you need castles for fairy stories, don't you? Or, failing that, a bog standard terrace at a knockdown price. Oh, I wonder where I'll get one of them from. Tracy, you can buy mine for the asking price. Oh, great. So you're going to fleece me for what was rightfully mine in the first place, are you? I need the money for a new hip and a comfortable old age. Oh, yeah, and I thought blood was thicker than water. New hips don't come cheap. Your grand's in a lot of pain with it. Yeah, well, I'll be needing a new hip and all. In fact, I'll need a new spine. Luggy name is buggy up the stairs to Steve's flat, which, by the way, is totally unsuitable for your great-granddaughter. Then you'd best go and flutter your eyelids at the mortgage lender. You're not being fair. Oh, she can knock 20 grand off, no problem. Her life's over and mine's just beginning. Do you know we had a woman come into the salon, went abroad for a hip-hop? Oh, what was her name? Um, Smiley, low lights with a trim, lovely later. Oh, my memory, honestly. Anyway, she was seen straight away and it saved a thousand, she said. Some people have no choice but to wait, ma'am. It's seven thousand minimum to go private here, I said. Oh, that's not a new hip, Doctor, that's an arm and a leg. Oh, oh. Oh, Blanche, you can't spend the next 12 months like this. Oh, come on, you're not short of a bob or two, Blanche, thank God. So why don't you hobble yourself onto that plane and get it seen to? I know I would. And come round after the op and everyone's speaking in tongues. No, thank you. I'm sure most people speak English. The only foreign I know is milky coffee, por favor. Yeah, but if it's cheaper than here... Buy cheap, buy twice. Phyllis McLaughlin. Oh, I knew it was there somewhere. <laughs> Poland, I think she said. Where girls sell their hair for Tuppence Hapney? Oh, nine, dank her very much. Oh, here's Love's Young Dream. How did you go on? OK, we've uh, got to go back on Friday for the parental responsibility mm -hmm. thing. That quick? Yep. I could have swung for that mortgage guy, though. Well, uh, 18 and then a suit. It's never a good combination, is it? Well, I told him I was going to be gamefully employed ASAP and he starts going on about needing a load of wage slips. So they turned you down? Said we've got to come back once Tracy's got some uh, full-time work under her belt. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world, is it? Well, we're in no rush. Well, so you keep saying, but... You know, I really want us to get a place together. Oh, I want, I must have. Oh, here we go. Do you know how old I was when I first had central heating, Steve? Oh, please. 52. Right. 52. That's why my skin's like alabaster. Right, uh, well, I better go in there. I'll hey. death, so. Nice to see you, love. These things are moving in the right direction, eh? Yeah. I'll see you out. What's up with her mush? Miss she in throbbing agonies? Eva White got 49,000 for selling in Common Street. Oh, yeah? Mind you, she's got a power shower. 49 grand, eh? For that money, your hip could be solid gold. Or silver plated if I were to sell to you and knock nine off the asking price. But, Gran, I thought you said... I say a lot of things. This blooming thing makes me very tetchy. Nine is too generous, Gran. Well, if you don't want it... No, no, it's not that. It's just... Well, I don't want you to think I was being greedy before. It's just... All I want is a fresh start for me and Steve. And for Amy to have a bedroom of her own. Yes. Make sure you put your name on everything, 50-50. I trust Steve completely. All the same. Get it down in black and white and then there's no misunderstandings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going foreign. What? What, he says. It's you who's driven me to it. The way you see private medicine, like it's some kind of religious cult. Any road. Why should Tracy be the only one to have a foreign bit? If she can have a Moroccan kidney, I can have a Polish hip. Yeah. There's a woman down at the Whist Drives. She's got a lovely set of knees from the Poles. And by all accounts, you can be there and back in no time and quarter the cost. You can get a perfectly good hip in this country. You only have to wait. Wait? At my age? When each day is a 24-hour struggle towards an open grave? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm sure it won't be as long as you fear. It already is. 
So, are you going to help me sort it or what? I'm not even going to have this discussion. Go on, Lena. He's off it now. You should ask him before you use that. I'm not asking him. He'd say no. Just think of the internet as a big, huge shopping centre without the varicose veins. <laughs> her grandson educated her in computers. Well, let her go and use his computer, then. He's not got his own. He's only seven. Oh, here we go. The searchy thing. Right, now, let's see. Keywords. Ips. H-I-P-S. What else? The poles. Poles. P-O-L-E-S. Right. Go. Oh. She doesn't look much like a surgeon. That's because she's a pole dancer. Them hips must be double-jointed. Oh, I don't want double-jointed. I have got enough trouble controlling what I've got. You neither of you know what you're doing, do you? Tell you what, if she has had new hips, I'd like to know where they've hid the scars. It's just think about what you're doing. It's hard to think when your bones are rattled with pain. Anyway, we've nearly sorted it. We've just come here to mull whether Blanche should go for the bathroom or not. I think I should. Good thinking. I mean, what with the flights and the operation and the medicines and the hospital bed. <laughs> A little on sweets, neither here nor there. <laughs> it were adding things to your basket idea that I couldn't get my head round. How can you add a bathroom to your basket? Mother, if you're too ill to go on a waiting list, you're too ill to fly. Like, how do you expect to pay for all this anyway? All your money's tied up in number seven. Which offers me good security for a low interest, no strings attached, age, no barrier loan. From who? Quickfastloan.com. .com, not .com. Look. Just talk it over with Ken first. I tried. He sucked. Well, try again. Oh. I've been hopeless with girls. That took so long, love. It's OK. I've been busy. Incubating. Good. And being sarcastic. Oh. Even I spotted that. Lloyd came in. Dad. I know, but it was her decision. She was up three times in the night. I don't know what must be going through her mind. Hello, love. How are you feeling? How would you feel if you had to journey to a land where every other letter seems to be Z or K for a major operation? Are you sure this is a good idea? Well, it's too late now. I've booked it. Well, if you're that determined, you can't go all that way on your own. I'm coming with you. Oh, well, I... Don't I'm... try and talk me out of it. It's a big thing, an operation like this. You need someone with you. Are you sure? I was up half the night thinking about it. Now, I've got some leave due. I'll take that. You don't mind, do you? Uh, it's probably best if you're just going to worry all the time. Right. Now, settle then. Bless you, Deirdre. You saved me a job. Uh, how do you mean? Breaking it to you. Uh, you see, I took the liberty yesterday of booking you on the same flight as me. And I got you a nice little hotel round the corner. Very reasonable. Well, you said yourself, I can't go on my own for that kind of thing. It'd be insanity. You better be off or you'll be late. I'll fill you in on the details later. Giggered if I can make head or tail of this. To be advisable are a change of night shirts severally. Special intake of diets also to be advisable in case of wrong understandings. Well, I hope they're better at doing operations than they are at writing English. There'll be some bureaucrat in the office, nothing to do with the medical side. What are you trying to do? Worry me before we go. I wouldn't mind if it was the main hospital at Warsaw where you thought all the top doctors were, but the military infirmary at Gdansk. We spent a lot of money on the military during the Cold War. It's probably got a very proud tradition. My mother was sweet on a pole during the war. Came over to enlist and did some training up here. Strapping chest, firm thighs. Polish health service didn't do him much harm. Do you think we'll need to take bottled water? Oh, for heaven's sake, Deirdre, they're in the European Union now. You'll be able to buy pretty well everything you need. How many Zalotis are we taking? 
Well, that's their unit of currency, it says here. Oh, well, they're not in the euro, then, these go-ahead poles. Look, if you want to back out, just say, I can take Lena or I can go on my own, but I'm fed up of all this carping. Sorry. It's just a bit daunting, you know? It's a foreign country. I don't know what to expect. You managed all right in Morocco that time. It'll broaden your mind. I could even take Ken. He seems to have the right attitude. Ah, I'm sure you'll be very well looked after by Deirdre. What are you going to be doing while we're away? Oh, I've got some reading to catch up on and uh, various solitary pursuits that I never get the chance to do. You don't fancy coming along, do you? Keeping me company? <sighs> that would bump up the cost. Uh, broaden your mind? You'll do just fine. Oh, you are here. Good job. Where are you from? I was speaking to my solicitor about the house. And he's not even heard back from your side yet. Yeah, well, there might be a bit of a problem there. What kind of problem? Well, I can't really afford it right now. Tracy's not said anything. Well, that's half the problem. I haven't really told her yet. How am I going to pay for my new hip now? I've borrowed money for this operation next week and I'll be relying on this sale to pay it back. Well, I might be able to help you out there. You see, the guy that bought Ireland's house is looking for another property in this area and he doesn't mind a sitting tenant. So why don't you give him a try? And who's he when he's at home? Well, I'll give you his number. It's a rum do, is this? I know, I'm sorry, I feel really bad. It's Tracy I'm worried about as well. You're going to have to tell her soon. Yeah, I know, and I will, but uh, in the meantime, keep it under your eye. All right. You all right, Blanche? Sh Don't wait till I sit down. Yeah, you all right, can manage it. Yeah. I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, yeah, go on in. The good news is you don't have to move out. You can stop where you are. Ah, oh, right. Our sale falling through, is it? You'll find out if you let me explain. The bad news is I'll no longer be your landlady. Oh, and that's bad news. I've sold the house to a chap who is prepared to buy with a sitting tenant. What chap? You can't do this. I sold it to somebody Steve McDonald put me on to. But, but don't worry, he's Eileen's landlord as well, so he won't put the rent up. Well, I'm not sure I'm happy about this, love. Me neither. Well, carry on. Don't let me stop you. Is Umpch your own granddaughter? No. That's what it sounds like to me. You'll stay out of this. Well, to be fair, we are talking about my home here, aren't we? Uh, no. My home, mine, Steve and Amy's, or at least it was supposed to be. I think you should have this conversation with Steve. Why, what's he said? Told me not to say anything. Put me in a very difficult position. I, I want you to live there, of course I do, but I need the money for my operation. Steve's pulled out without telling me. I need a quick sale. <laughs> what else can I do, Tracy? Why would he do that? What's he playing at? You better ask him that. Yeah, don't worry, I will. You see. Tracy, what's the matter, love? Are you had a row with Steve? Oh, what lovers do you mean? Things that we're not lovers. We never have been, and we never will be. He's just been using me. Using you? All he's interested in is Amy. So all this talk about you and It was moving... lies. And if he tries to get in here, Mum, please don't let him in, because I swear I won't be responsible for my actions. Me and me big mouth is all I can say. No, Gran, if it wasn't for you, I would have gone through with this whole charade. I don't understand. I mean, it seems like a very odd way to go about getting... What exactly? Parental rights, Dad. Legal rights over Amy. Yeah, but to use such devious means. Ken's right. I mean, what makes you think Steve could be so so calculated? Because he loves Amy, Mum. He wants Amy, not me. I can't do that be so gullible. Well, he had me going. There were so many times I threw myself at him and he wasn't interested, then all of a sudden he is. And why? Why didn't I see through it? Well, if there's one good thing that's come out of this, at least it's, it's opened your eyes about Steve. Oh, yeah. My eyes are open, all right, wide open. Steve MacDonald's going to be really sorry he ever made an enemy out of me. Yeah, be quick about it, thank you. All right, there's a coach in half an hour, so um, hopefully I should be able to make that one. And Peter doesn't mind you just turning up like this? Didn't give him much choice. No, no, don't you think you should cool down first instead of rushing off? If I stay in the street a minute longer, I swear I will kill Steve MacDonald. 
after what you told me today, I give you a hand. But at least you know he's a devoted father. No. I don't suppose that's much comfort now. Tracy, you can't just run away like this. Couldn't you just at least sleep on it? That'll be the taxi. Um, Mum, could you please go and get Amy? Look, love, wouldn't it be better off staying here where we can look after you? I just feel so humiliated. I can't stay around here. Y you are coming back, though. Tracy. I'll be in touch. Bye, Graham. Bye, love. We need to talk. Look, look, we need to sit down and talk. Get out of my sight. I can't bear to look at you. Come on. What's going on? She's leaving. Well, where are you going? None of your business. Why are you? You can't just get up and leave. What about Amy? You're never going to see her again, Steve. Uh, no. no. I don't no. think your presence is especially welcome oh. right now, Steve. Well, she can't just go off with my daughter. I can do what I like, Steve. Amy, say goodbye to your daddy. <laughs> nothing to deserve this. Oh, don't love you. Set me off. You know, if, I, if you were here, I, I'd give you a great big hug. Slippers. Oh, no, love. Oh, and denture cream. They may not have it over there. I can't bear it with you. Oh, this hip's giving me jip today. You're just going to have to hang I said, this hip's giving me jip today. Oh, never mind. It'll be gone soon. Do you have to put it like that? Conjures up visions of it lying in the bottom of a skip somewhere. For nearly 70 years it supported me. Seems a shame just to throw it away like oh, that. Well, maybe they'll let you bring it home and we can put it on display somewhere. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind the pain, so long as it keeps you entertained. If you need to talk, just ring. I'll be on my mobile. Yeah. Give Amy our love, won't you? OK. Bye, love. How is she? She is in a terrible state. This is so hard. Listening to her crying down the phone and knowing there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well, she's got Peter. That's not the same. He won't share a box of tissues with her and have a good rant about men. What's the weather like in Kadinsky? Gdansk, can I've really no idea. Best take me thermals, then. Don't you care about Tracy at all? Did she ask how I was? No. Exactly. All she's got to worry about is where her next meal ticket's coming from. I'm about to undergo major surgery here. Now, are you going to give me a hand when they're packing? Or am I to struggle on my own? I mean, all those years we've been friends, and what does it count for? Nothing. She comes round here pretending she's sorry, well, she can go to hell. Oh, about time. Come on. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't go through with it. I don't know what I was thinking of. It's a foreign country and miles away. The whole thing's mad. It's a reputable hospital. We've checked all this. Now, come on. Do you want a new hip or not? Not if it means coming back in a coffin. Oh, Mother! Oh, you'll be in good hands. A dear will be there to make sure nothing goes wrong. I suppose. Come on, it'll take 20 years off your life. It won't just be line dancing. It'll be tap dancing. <laughs> You're right. It's just me being silly. Last-minute nerves. <sighs> right, come on, then. You get in. It'll be a whole new way of life. Are you sure you're going to be all right on your own? I'll manage. I think I can remember how to open a tin. <laughs> now, come on, you miss that plane. I'll ring you when we get there. All right. Bye, love. Bye. Bye.